Tonight, the army confirming American soldier Travis King is detained in North Korea after bolting across the border and effectively handing himself over to the regime run by Kim Jong-un. Washington racing to signal he was acting alone. One of our service members who was on a tour uh, willfully and without authorization crossed the military demarcation line. Two U.S. officials telling NBC News he'd faced disciplinary action in South Korea and was supposed to be leaving the country. Another official said military police escorted him as far as they could go, an airport checkpoint. He then tagged along a commercial tour to the demilitarized zone and made the dangerous crossing. He'll certainly be de detained in that area initially and then probably taken to an interrogation facility. We were in North Korea at the DMZ in 2017, seeing for ourselves the tense, militarized border. And we're not allowed to stay here for very long. A U.S. official tells NBC News escorts from the tour tried to chase the soldier but didn't catch him. In 2017, a North Korean soldier was shot multiple times as he dashed across the line to defect to the south. He had to be dragged in darkness to safety. That same year, U.S. hostage Otto Wombia was released after 18 months' detention. He was in a vegetative state and died soon afterwards, escalating tensions between the U.S. and North Korea. The two countries have been growing further apart, with Kim Jong-un testing ballistic missiles, one fired just tonight. Today's events risking adding to the diplomatic challenges at a difficult time. And Kier joining me now in the studio. We've learned a bit more about the soldier's background. What That's can you tell right. us? Leslie, just uh, in the last uh, few minutes, a, a U.S. official telling us that he is 23 years old, that he was supposed to return to Fort Bliss in Texas, that he served in the Army for two and a half years. But as to what he was doing and what he was thinking, that's still a mystery tonight. Yeah, I mean, history suggests it'll be a delicate dance moving forward. What do we know about what happens next in terms of trying to get him back? That's absolutely right. U.S.-North Korean relations have been in the deep freeze for the past few years. Now, around 20 uh, U.S. citizens have actually been detained in North Korea since the mid-90s. But I think the challenge now is how do you even get talks started? And remember the deep distrust between uh, the two sides. How do you overcome that? What I think we've seen Washington doing today is to signal that uh, Private King was acting on his own initiative, uh, that it wasn't uh, directed uh, from uh, Washington. One of the questions tonight, I think, is do the North Koreans believe that? All right, Keir Simmons, good to have you here tonight. Thank you. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.